uh, at Red Top. Is Red Top? Who's Red Top? Red Top. Uh, so your man asked to be a stay-at-home mom, and you would like to keep working and said, sounds like his needs are not being what met. I really about? think you both will part ways. Huh? Oh, oh, he's, uh, he's being mean. You what is he talking him? about? Okay, because she was saying that her dude asked her to be a stay at home. Like, she said oh, that she she said, said for the first yes. two to three years that she would be a stay at home mom. Compromise. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> I'm learning from the last time I was here. Yeah. <laughs> what? Don't feed the trolls. Yeah. So <laughs> intellectually speaking, what I said, just to be clear, for clarity, into the mic force. Thank you for clarity. Got people in the back. <laughs> What I said was, it is actually extremely important to have those conversations because if if this is what my man wants, then we need to sit down and have that conversation. What I'm saying is, to be a stay-at-home mom, I don't have a problem with that because our child comes first and those development years are extremely important. Mm -hmm. However, once that child is somewhat self-sufficient in the idea that I don't have to physically be on top of you every five seconds. Like at three, you're, you should be walking. Mm -hmm. You should be potty trained at that point. You should be reading. You should be learning somewhat how to write. There's things that you should be learning at that age. So in the times where I may feel a little more comfortable with allowing you to be around other children, like a daycare, obviously a more reasonable one, but like a daycare where I don't you need that social interaction with other children to develop properly and have those social skills while you're doing that, I can be on the back end helping you with your business. And even with watching my child, children sleep mm -hmm. at that age. They're sleeping most of the time because that developmental stage is extremely important and you develop more when you're sleeping. That's why a lot of teenagers with during, during puberty, a lot of them get tired and it's because their bones are starting to grow. Right. Their muscles are stretching their ligaments, their tendons, their, their brain development. All of that makes you tired because your body needs to rest in order to develop. During that time that you're sleeping, what am I going to be doing? Talking to you. <laughs> no, no, no. My man's at work. What am I going to oh, be doing? Okay. Sorry, the house is clean. La laundry's folded. Yeah. Uh, chicken's married. Doing you. Everything's ready what to go. You? I don't got nothing to do. <laughs> I have nothing to do other than sit there and watch TV, maybe go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Why do <gasps> that when I can, I can go to the gym, but I can also sit down with my laptop and get your Excel worksheet situated for you for when you come home. That's one less thing you got to worry about when you come home. Yeah. Have your clients in their schedules and their time frames of where they're going to be meeting up with you so that that's one less thing you have to worry what? about. You can Bro, what are you, you talking want. about, man? I'm, I'm speaking clear as day. It's, it's called, like you said, being complimentary. If my man is at work and he's working hard, why should he have to come home and work even harder if I'm not doing anything? Yeah. It, it, it just depends how busy you are, I guess. That's yeah. what I'm saying. If but like, example, like sleep, <laughs> like, like, like my girl right now, like she has everything done and it's easily all done. So it just, it, I don't know. It just depends how much work there really is at the end of the day. Like, but, but there is sometimes where like she was having to come up here and help me with stuff. And we were behind on certain things in the house because she's having to help with my work where she just like right now, she didn't have to come help me tonight. So what was she doing? Like the house is probably going to look fucking amazing whenever I get home. Because she didn't have to come up here and work tonight, you know? So, I don't know. It just really depends how much work there is, though. I, I, I definitely think that being complimentary is the best, though. Um, $2 from Joe Cole. Jared, can I borrow $60 so I can buy more Super Chats? I got you, broski. <laughs> <laughs> $5 from Eric G. Thank you, man. Uh, Khaled, I can't say none of that, bro. You know I don't speak Spanish. Oh. Come on, say it. Say uh, it. Not girl. It, it's for it's for homegirl that was right to your left. Oh, what does it say? I don't even know what that fucking means. Tell me what it means. Oh shit, you don't know what Ca that means. Caladita seven mas bonitas. He says beautiful. that she's very pretty. <laughs> she's very beautiful. Okay, cool. Is that yeah. what that means? I don't know, bro. Don't bonita. ask me. I know beautiful. bonita's pretty. Mm -hmm. Uh twenty dollars from Jonathan. Uh I, I don't know if I've seen you before, oh, but thank wow. you, bro. Left to right. <laughs> Left to right. Um, from his perspective, that would be Red Top. Red Top. Yeah. yeah so four two three two three three <laughs> one <laughs> two damn i'm gonna be honest i okay. think everyone John, up here is drunk. very pretty nigga you a lie he a drunk <laughs> you a lie jo his, his jonathan we gonna keep it real you a lie jonathan you're gonna get me beat up bro chill all right. Wow. I, know, I know I'm drunk. drunk. He's very much drunk. <laughs> it's clear as day. It's called the troll. Yeah. Yeah. Lane. Uh, Y'all don't don't feed the trolls, I've guys. But well, we appreciate the donation. Thank you. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Especially look, forever that girl. But thank yeah. you, Sam. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 
Anybody who can talk about We gotta say too much. What's the next one, bro? Uh, one dollar from Michael Mitrak. Thank you again, bro. I really appreciate you, man. Number Thanks, one mod on, yeah, he's number one mod on YouTube. Every channel there is. Um, ladies, I want to know: should you conform, uh, or should the man conform to the woman's frame, or the woman conforms to a man's frame? Now, what frame is is Daddy. one person usually is walking into the other one's frame in a relationship, meaning that you're going into their rules, you're going into how they want things run. They just are kind of the leader who runs the house. Do y'all think that a man should be walking into y'all's frame or that y'all should be walking into a man's frame? We'll start with you. That's a hard one. Yeah. That is a hard So I will say this. I (laughs) took a different approach with this relationship, and I've more so conformed to him. But it was a willingness to conform. You have to be willing to do it. And it's not necessarily conformity as much as it is. If you like it, it's not conforming. Right. As much as it is understanding your man. <laughs> yeah. And wanting to be in a, if, if that man is providing you what you're looking for, then you should have no issues. And with if you, en- if you enjoy it, it's nothing. Yeah, it really is. Exactly. Because before it was a chore in my marriage, it was a chore. And do you think it was a chore out of choice, like a mental choice? Like, do you think that you making the mental choice for the new guy? compared to the old guy that that made the difference like yes. a mental choice absolutely because Damn. it's it's doing nothing yeah. you know before it was actively like fuck i gotta do this i gotta do that like and it's not gonna mean anything he's not gonna give a shit anyway yeah. this this situation is completely different to where if i do the absolute smallest thing imaginable his face lights up yeah so it makes me want to do it that much more and do even more for him so in that sense yeah absolutely. yeah props to you okay another thing ladies a tip Guys don't get gifts. Guys don't get things normally. Guys don't get fucking hugs. Guys don't get fucking shoulder rubs. Guys don't get a lot of these things that y'all think that maybe they don't want or something. I don't know what it is, but just show love like that. Like just give, giving a shoulder rub, just fucking anything, like giving him a drink, like serving serving somebody is like, but I always like to teach like love, like me and my girlfriend's relationship works really well. And one, the number one reason why is because we try to outserve each other all day long. I'm always trying to do whatever I can for her to the point where I have memorized everything that she wants at every point of the day. You so put then it in your notes, like what she want to order. I don't even have to. Like, I just already you know, know. like, because like, and, and that's, and, and she does the I same for it. me. I don't have to ask her to do things. I it's just it. automatically done. That's automatically. That's how you know it's genuine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. So my boyfriend has a saying and it's, do not put out what you can't keep up keep up with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like so. Yeah. That's false. Yeah, and, and love love is gratitude. Love is giving. Like that's that that is what love is. Especially if you look yeah. to Jesus in the Bible and stuff. It's yeah. giving. It's giving. Um, for you, here. what uh, would you do? You think that the man should conform to the woman's frame, or the woman should conform to the man's frame? Um, I would say woman conform because, like we talked about earlier, society has groomed us to be more independent. So we. You know, we need to learn to be more vulnerable with men um, and and let them be more masculine in the relationship. So I feel like we're conforming that way Mm -hmm. to let them do their thing. And then we do ours. Yeah. The beautiful way of saying is resting in your femininity. Mm -hmm. Rest, rest in it. Uh, What about you? Um, What what do you think that uh, men should conform to the woman's frame or the woman's going to conform to his? I think the woman should conform to his. I think it's common sense, though. Mm Like, yeah. Yeah, do do you agree? Um, yes, I think the woman should, as long as the man is treating you right. Yeah, he uh, a guy a guy doesn't have a good frame uh, yeah. unless he's worked hard to achieve it. Mm-hmm. Frame is something that is built over time. It, you know, guys don't get it when they're nineteen years old out of high school. Yeah. Right. Um, what most, about you? Most definitely a woman to a man. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I would yeah. say the same. I keep it going, yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. Well, that's she good. Made a very yeah. Valid point. It, yeah. 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 Frame. Frame is a really big deal, ladies. And like, so a lot of guys aren't in their frame today. They're not stoic and, and just and, and right and you know the the whole point of holding frame is like say like a girl starts going, mouthing off on this show and I kick her out. That is an example of holding frame. That is an example of saying these are the rules when you come here. This is how it is, and I'm not dealing with anything outside of this. But y'all got to understand this comes with different types of things sometimes. Hey y'all, Sergio here. I just want to mention I've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how I went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high quality desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media. So if you're struggling to get out there, if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, 
Click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.